Hey guys, today I'm going to be making one of my personal favorite desserts, poi mochi. For this yummy recipe, I'm going to be using Hanalei poi. They usually sell it by the pound, like in this container here, or sometimes in a bag. I am going to make a batch of about two dozen, so it only calls for about half a pound of poi. If you want to make more, feel free to double up on this recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the poi into a big mixing bowl, and then I'm going to slowly add the ingredients. So first is two thirds cup of sugar, and I'm going to make sure I mix that well before I introduce the next ingredient which is mochiko flour. So the next ingredient that I'm adding is mochiko powder, which is a sweet flour. This is what's going to give your mochi that stretch and chew. So this usually comes in a box of 16 ounces. Um, for this recipe, I'm only going to use 8 ounces, so half the box. You'll notice that after you add the mochiko powder, your batter is going to get really thick. You want to make sure you don't have any clumps, so mix very well. Now we're going to add a little bit of water just to loosen up the batter a bit. I pour it in about a third cup, but you can use up to one cup. I like it to be on the thicker side because when you scoop the batter into the oil, you want to make sure that it holds a round shape. So when it's too runny, sometimes it's kind of difficult to achieve that. So keeping it on the thicker side will really help you. Okay, this is looking perfect. It's still thick, but running off your spoon. That's exactly what you want. This little scooper works perfectly. I found this at Walmart. I don't really know what it's called. It's just like a mini ice cream scooper. It's the perfect size for the poi mochi. Prepare your pot with about two and a half inches deep of cooking oil. I'm just using vegetable oil and set your temperature to medium heat. Once your oil is hot enough, carefully add drops of your poi mochi batter. Now you want to make sure you leave space in between them because they can get stuck together. You want to make sure that once you drop the batter into the oil, that you give it at least one minute to develop a crust before you touch it with anything. When it's still developing the crust, it can easily get stuck to each other and then you might get one huge ball of poi mochi, which doesn't sound bad, but our goal here is to have little bite-sized desserts. These metal skewer things that I was using was very helpful. So if you have like chopsticks or, or even like wooden skewers, that's a great tool to use to help keep them apart and to rotate them so that they get golden brown on each side. Total cook time is about six to eight minutes. So once you achieve that really nice golden brown color, go ahead and remove it from the oil and set it on a paper towel to cool. Something to keep in mind is not only do you wanna make sure the outside is nice golden brown, but you wanna also do a taste test and cut some of them open just to make sure that the batter on the inside is cooked. You want it to be nice, soft and stretchy and not runny. And just like that, my friends, the poi mochi is ready to be served. This yummy dessert is so delicious. It's very crispy on the outside and very soft and chewy on the inside. It has the right amount of sweetness, but if you, if you do like it a little sweeter, some people like to drizzle a glaze over them, but I personally like eating it just like this. I mean, listen to that crunch. And don't mind if I do. I couldn't wait and I had to eat one. Hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to teach you something or inspire you in some shape or form. And as always, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with anyone you know who would enjoy a recipe like this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.